Hi, I'm Coach Matt Painter, and today we're going to talk about post-defense. Uh, a lot of your work in post-defense needs to happen before the play actually happens, not getting behind the play, all right? Do your work early. I think that's the one thing you hear coaches talk to post players about. Don't get into a wrestling match, move your feet, but do your work early, all right? One of the main things that we talk about is being the first to hit somebody. And in post play and rebounding, the guy that hits first normally wins, all right? But you got to have a little smoothness to you, have a little technique to you. It doesn't mean you wail on somebody. It doesn't mean you strike them. You know, fouling out and getting five fouls in 10 minutes is not impressive, all right? Sometimes big guys think hitting people, pushing people, kneeing people, shoving them, that's post defense. That's the last thing from post defense. You got to learn to play the game, embrace the physicality of the game, but also play without fouling and be in good defensive position. I'm going to talk a little bit after we talk about what to do, but I'm also going to talk about what not to do after you get in bad position. It is going to happen. All right, the game's always changing. Different things are going on. You're going to get into a bad place in post defense. That's when you don't gamble. That's when you don't reach. That's when you don't go through the passing lane and expose yourself and expose your team and give up a layup. Don't let guys shoot layups. Don't let bigs go to the free throw line. But also when you get behind plays and you're guarding someone who can't make free throws and maybe you only have a foul or two, putting them to the free throw line and making them earn it at times, that is a smart play. So you got to have intelligence. You got to have some toughness. You got to have good footwork. But more than anything, get your work done early. And that's what we're going to talk about right here. The ball's coming up the court. All right, we're going to act like this ball's come up the court and we've advanced it here to Jordan. All right, so the ball's going to be here on the wing. But when the ball's coming up the court, that's my guy coming up. JR is the post guy. All right, Sam's just going to be a passer on this wing. All right, these are going to be three offensive players. I'm the only defender out here. I am the post defender. All right, I have to sprint. Big guys out there, you can't jog next to your man. All right, you jog next to your man and you're not worried about the basketball. Now, what are you doing? All right, you're not a team defensive player there. You're just saying, I got mine. The heck with everybody else, the heck with the ball. And that's not good transition defense. So it starts with transition defense. You're a big, so what should you have done? You should have went to the glass. Go to the glass, big guys. All right, get in there, get some putbacks, get some offensive rebounds. But when you don't get it, don't make that fatigue foul. All right, don't go over somebody's back. You don't want to do that. That just gets them into the bonus earlier. It gets you to the bench quicker. You went to get your offensive rebound. You didn't get it. Sprint your big, bat, big butt back on defense, all right, and get in position. All right, get in position. So the first thing I want to do is sprint back to the paint and get turned around. There's the ball. He could take his man right here and drive him. All right, I got to be in position to stop him because that's the most important thing, the basketball. All right, so the ball's here. All right, I'm to the basketball. All right, but we talked about earlier. All right, the ball's going to be up there. Let's act like it hasn't got advanced yet. Okay? The ball's at half court, the ball's at three-quarter court. Here comes this big jalopy down the court. All right, so here he's coming down here. I don't have to worry about the ball because it's way up here. I want to hit first. I want to make sure he knows this isn't his. This is mine. Now, I got to be a little delicate. I might have just got a foul right there. All right, but I jammed JR up right here. I made the first contact. He didn't come to me. He's a 260-pound man. He comes and greets me. Come on, JR. And he comes and hits me and I wait for him here. Boom. JR's winning that battle. Okay? I don't want JR to win that battle. So this ball comes up. Now we're going to act like it advances. First thing I'm going to do, I want to be to it. But man, I want to greet him before he gets the paint. Boom. Hit him and get to the basketball and be in a stance. Because right now, guess what I'm not? I'm a defensive player weak side. I'm not a post defender yet. And sometimes what big guys want to do is get locked up right here. Get away to the ball. You're not a post defender. Now, JR gets down to this point right here. He, I am a post defender. So I want to hit and get to the basketball. So JR comes down in here. I've already hit him. I want to chest him up, but I want to be to the basketball, but I don't want to expose myself. He gets down into this position here and gets right here. We're just going to pretend and go on some rules here. Push up a little bit, Jordan. The ball's above the free throw line. A lot of different ways you can play this. We would play this as a rule above the free throw line. I want to be three quarters, okay? I want to be three quarters because he's here, and I want to make this pass go out to the corner, okay? If the ball got dribbled down below that free throw line, 
A couple different philosophies people have here. You can slide in front and get full front and not let him have it. Some people don't like that because it takes you out of some rebound position. All right? Some people do because they don't want those bigs to catch the ball down there. So I would come here in position. He would go. I would step through and come here and then get baseline side or get here. And if I'm here, the last thing I want as a full front guy is I don't want my space. So right as I full front, that's my contact, and I want to get back, and I want to post him up like I'm on offense. Okay, because if this rebound happens and this shot gets taken and I'm here, I'm probably not in the best position in the world. I'm going to have to spin out of it, all right, and fight my way to get weak side because most of those shots do get weak side or to keep it alive. But when I'm here and I'm in a full front position, I want to try to dominate him. So if a shot happens, I got him caved in and he's there and I'll continue to do that. I might not get the rebound, but I'm taking big fella out of the play. <laughs>